didn't have a great deal of depth in the starting rotation. And they got a guy who, if he's healthy and, and on target, could be you know, not only a good back end of the rotation guy, but a guy who has proven to be a top of the rotation type of guy when he's, when he's healthy and on target. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The White Sox strengthened the back end of their rotation on Tuesday, signing Matt Latos to a one-year deal. The right-hander has battled through elbow and knee issues in recent years. In 2015, Latos finished with a 4.95 ERA across 24 appearances for the Marlins, Dodgers, and Angels. Yankees right-hander Masahiro Tanaka threw off a mound on Tuesday for the first time since undergoing arthroscopic surgery back in October to remove a bone spur in his right elbow. According to Yankees pitching coach Larry Rothschild, the throwing session took place in New York, and Tanaka's rehab is on schedule. Tanaka went 12-7 with a 3.51 ERA in 24 starts this past season. One of the most dynamic young talents to come out of Cuba in recent memory is close to deciding on his future. 16-year-old Lazaro Armenteros is expected to make a decision on where he will sign on Wednesday, about one month after Major League Baseball declared him a free agent. The Braves, Cubs, Dodgers, Padres, and Phillies are among the nine teams with a strong interest in the teenage outfielder. You feel the vibe when you're at the games of the WBC. That's been one of the, the best things about it is that it, it's a process of growing the game. But when players put on the uniform of their country, it becomes a big deal. The first leg of the 2017 World Baseball Classic gets underway with the first of four qualifying tournaments beginning on Wednesday. The favorite Australia will host New Zealand, the Philippines, and South Africa in the modified double elimination tournament. The winning team will then advance to the main draw of the 2017 World Baseball Classic. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.